Now, amongst these options we have to see, among these examples we have to see how many have hypogynous flower. It means they have superior gynoecium, superior ovary. So, bitter gut, it belongs to the cucurbitaceae family. So, it has inferior gynoecium, mustard brassicaceae superior, brinjal solanaceae superior, pumpkin cucurbitaceae inferior, china rose malvaceae superior, lupin fabaceae superior, cucumber cucurbitaceae inferior, sunham fabaceae superior, gram fabaceae superior. Now guava belong to the mitaceae family inferior gynoecium. Now bean fabaceae superior, chili solanaceae family superior. Now plum and rose. In both of these, the condition is half inferior or you can say half superior. Petunia, again superior gynoecium belongs to the Solanaceae family. Tomato, Solanaceae superior. Vidania, Solanaceae superior. Potato also, Solanaceae superior. Onion, aloe. Tulip, they belong to the Liliaceae family, again superior gynoecium means hypogynous flowers. So amongst all these examples, there are 15 which shows superior gynoecium hypogynous flowers. So it means for this question, right answer is 2. Right, so now let's proceed to the next question that is 107. Now in the question number 107, we are talking about the synapses. You know what is the synapses? The homologous chromosome, they show pairing, this occur in the meiosis. In the meiosis during prophase 1 in the zygotene stage. So let's say this is one chromosome, right? Now this is its homologous partner, they will show pairing. And this pairing is assisted with the help of a complex which is formed here that is known as synaptonymal complex and this pair formation this is known as bivalent, right? So it means the right answer here is answer number 2, pairing results in the formation of the bivalent. Now we can also see rest options here. Kinetochore, this is our disc present over the centromere, yes, and exoneme, this is part of flagella, equatorial plate represents the metaphasic plate. Now, let us see question 108, which of the following statements are correct? Now, the first one, sporogenous tissue is haploid, sporogenous tissue is deployed after meiosis, it results in the formation of spores. Endothesium produces microspore. Endothesium is wall layer of anther which helps in the dehiscence of anther, right? It helps in the dehiscence and microspores they are formed by the sporogenous tissue. Again, this is wrong. Third option, tapetum is a nutritive layer which helps in the development of pollen. So, this is right. Fourth one, hard outer layer of pollen is in time. You know pollen grain consists of the two wall layer, outer is exine, inner is entine and the hard one is not entine, it is exine. So this one is also incorrect, right? So which is the correct option here? Correct option is third one, tapetum is nutritive layer. So it means for this question, right answer is answer number 3, right? Option number 3. Now, coming to the question number 109. Now, a major site for synthesis of lipids we have to see here. Fine. Now, SCR that is smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Yes, this is involved in the lipid synthesis. RER is involved in the protein synthesis and SCR is involved in the lipid synthesis. Synthesis of steroidal hormones. Now, Simplast. This represents living continuum in the plant. 
yes cytoplasm of one cell it is interconnected with the other cell with the help of the plasmodesmata and this living continuity continuum in the plant represents symplast nucleoplast this is a jelly like substance which is present in the nucleus and you know that in the nucleus there is presence of dna now this dna it will undergo transcription to form rna so nucleoplasm is associated with rna synthesis not lipids now coming to the rer it is involved in the synthesis of protein so it means which is the right option here right option is one so the scr represents the site of lipid synthesis so after the 109 let's see 110 question here let's discuss question number 110 select the correct statement with respect to locomotion in humans now here we can start with the last option a decreased level of progesterone causes osteoporosis in old people no it is estrogen third one the joint between adjacent vertebrae is fibrous joint that's again is incorrect because it is cartilaginous joint option two the vertebral column has 10 thoracic vertebrae no it is having 12 thoracic vertebrae the first one accumulation of uric acid crystals in joints causes their inflammation this is correct because this is called gouty arthritis so the correct choice is one and that would be our answer so let's move on to the next question 111 